Hello everyone, welcome back. I spent the last month or so working on the project and it's finally ready to launch. So today I'm excited to show it to you guys. It's a website. The site URL is iimagelab.com. It's a service that you can use to make your own avatar or profile images using stable diffusion. Uh, this is a paid service because I need to run GPU servers for model training and generating images. And GPU servers are quite expensive and the cloud provider companies, they actually charge by hours. So I'm not able to make it free for all. I know this is nothing new and there are a few products like this on the market already. So why am I making another one? First of all, it's a way of diversifying my portfolio. As you know, I have a tutorial blog, pythoninoffice.com, as well as this YouTube channel. I use both platforms to share my passion for Python programming by providing Python tutorials for free. I'm hoping that I can do this full time one day because that's what I'm passionate about. A lot of content creators would ask for donations, but I'm not really comfortable doing that. Like if I take your money, then I want to give you something back in exchange. And that's why I built this site so that if you would like to support my work, please consider buying a set of AI generated avatars, which is really not that expensive. It's $10 per order about the amount of your everyday lunch. And for $10, you get 120 unique high quality avatars in portrait mode. So this is not the square images, but these will be the portrait mode avatars like these. And uh, the resolution will be 520 by 768 and you will get 120 unique ones. And second, it was a fun project. I say this is the second, but really this point was the main driver behind all this. Since when I first started building the site, I had no idea if I'm able to actually finish this project. And during the process, I learned a lot about web servers, cloud, Python, HTML, and CSS. So that effort won't be wasted, even if I don't make any sale from this site. And if there's enough interest, I will consider doing some tutorial to talk about how I built this site. The site is super easy to use. Let me walk you through. The site URL is iimagelab.com. And once you're on the home page, just click on this button here uh, to check out. And this will take you to a checkout page powered by Stripe, which is a well-known online payment provider. I'm actually going to uh, do a real walkthrough and, and make a real order here by entering my credit card information. So it's like buying a product for myself and that's kind of weird. So now I'm going to click on pay to process the order. And just note that the website doesn't collect your credit card information. That information goes straight to Stripe for payment processing. This site only collects your name and email address. And that's for when sending back the images to you. You will need a working email address to receive the images. So this is a page where you can upload photos. And I recommend 20 photos from different composition angles and different clothing hairstyle and the requirement may sound strict. Uh, that's just to ensure that you get good results uh, for your avatars. And as you can see, I've included some instructions here. It says uh, 15 to 20 photos. You don't have to follow strictly on um, what kind of uh, photo shots to provide. These are only for guidance. And these are a couple of uh, sample images, uh, what's considered as a good photo for upload. You might know this already for stable diffusion. We need a square shaped photos or images for uh, training. So the images that we upload must be in square shape. You can use any software on your phone or your PC to crop photos. As long as they're in the square shape, that's fine. You don't have to worry about the resolution, but I recommend having a resolution at least 512 by 512. And if you need help with cropping images, cropping or resizing images, you can just simply use this site. Uh, it's very easy to use. It's called a Burmy Net. Let me show you how it works. Just drag and drop all the photos that you want to crop. So you can drag everything and drop them to here. We only need 20 photos and this is very easy to use. You basically set the resolution for, for the cropping and then you can just drag and select the portion of the photos that you want to keep. So I'm just going to center all the photos to keep the person's face in the middle of each photo. This literally just takes about 30 seconds to complete. And once I'm done selecting the portion of the images that I want to take, I just need to click on the save as zip file. And just to show you what the end results look like. But basically this website helped us resize and crop the image. So now I'm going to go back to my site, select all the photos that you want to upload and drag and drop them into the field here. 
And other check marks just means that your photos were uploaded successfully. And this cross here, this says maximum upload capacity of 20 files reached. But actually, these are uh, 20 files exactly. So this is a known bug here, and I'm going to fix that later. And once you have all the photos uploaded, just uh, click on this button here, upload photos. And now this is going to show you actually the other 20 photos that we uploaded. On this page, you want to select a gender for uh, the image that you want to generate. You can select opposite gender. So for example, here I uploaded female photos, but I can select gender as male. But this really doesn't work well. I recommend that uh, you choose the same sex as the photo that you uploaded. So in this case, because we uploaded female photos, so here I'm going to select uh, her. And let's say that if you are not happy with any of these photos that you uploaded, you can simply click on this button here to delete all the photos and, and re-upload. So once I click on this and I'm taken back to this page uh, for the photo re-upload, I'm going to do that real quick here, drag and drop 20 photos here, upload pictures, and back to this uh, confirmation page again. So. On here, I just make sure that uh, the gender of the photos that is set to female. And then I'm going to click on uh, get my avatars. That's uh, pretty much it. And once you're on this page, that means uh, the server, the backend received the order and, and will start working processing the order. If the server is not busy, it's going to process your order right away. This process usually takes about uh, 30 minutes. So it's going to train the models first, and then it's going to generate all 120 avatars for you and then send it back to the email address that you provided. In this case, this will be uh, the email address that I provided. So just make sure that you provide a valid email address for receiving images. That's the whole process. And I admit that the photo upload part can be maybe simplified a little bit more. Uh, that's something that I will try to work on later. If you want to support my work, please consider buying a set of avatars. I'll pause here and in 30 minutes, I'll show you some of the generated images. All right, I'm back. So this is the email that we receive once the images are ready. And just click into here, there should be a download link. Now we just need to download that. And let me show you what the end result look like. So here, this is the folder with the original pictures. This is image that we're able to get from the AI avatar. And as you can see, this is very high quality images. And uh, these are very good for either avatars or your profile images. Really appreciate if you purchase a set of AI generated avatars from my new website, if you want to support me. And that's all for this video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.